Hello, everybody. Hello again, and welcome to this session. Uh, as I said before, that I'm going to show you how we will generate money from uh, AWS, trying to minimize as much as I can the cost. Um, uh, OK, but in this session or in this video, I'm going to show you how you will do Ethereum mining using AWS. And it will, of course, it will not be for free because Ethereum price is so high, so it will not be free. But it will help you to understand how you will do mining for Ethereum. So if you want to spend a little bit money and invest a little bit uh, with the um, mining cryptocurrency, so I think this is a good. What we need to do this. Before going deep how to do this, I will just want to explain to you that Ethereum needs GPU in order to be, like in order to mine uh, Bitcoin, uh, uh, in order to start mining uh, Ethereum, so you need the GPU. GPU, which is a graphical process um, uh, unit. The best, like for, for the... Um, for uh, mining bit, uh, Ethereum is like uh, AMD uh, Radeon RX uh, 480, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 380. What I want to show you that, okay, we will take the first two and go to the Amazon.com, like AMD uh, Radeon RX 480, AGB Samsung. This one is not available. The second one, which is... Um, uh geforce rtx also it's not available some of the craft cards was like one thousand dollar before the rally of ethereum now it's like two thousand dollars three thousand dollars and like it's a start going higher and higher so why we are going to spend a little bit money uh, extra in buying graphic cards where we can do it in aws this is the whole point of this video so let me show you how we will do step by step how we will maximize the benefits from the server that we are going to rent from um, from Amazon by using CPU to do mining of, let's say, for example, Zcash, and how we will do the GPU mining for the Ethereum. And how we will, this is, will be the maximum that you can get. Of course, you cannot, like, mining Bitcoin over the GPU, it's not a good idea because the algorithm of the... Um, uh, uh bitcoin needs um, anti miner like uh, ascii it will not like uh, be very powerful with the gpu so now let's focus on how to do the mining of ethereum inside aws to do this we need a server and uh, the best uh, server if you come to this article which i wrote these are the best servers that uh, we have p3 2xl p3 8xl uh, x large uh, p3 16 x large and like the prices is is literally very high, like twenty four dollars for per hour for this one. But it contains eight GPU. Somehow we can say that eight graphic cards. And here P three eight XL, which is like twelve dollars per hour, which is like four GPU. And we have this one, which is like one GPU. AWS uh, EC two instance type list and not the cli ec2 instance type list this one. so just we will come here and go to the amazon and i just will show you like these are like the types of all the cpus here what we need we need the accelerating uh, accelerated computing here you have like for example p4 you have uh, a gpu and uh, 96 virtual CPU, and the server is uh, that the, the GPU card or the graphic card. It's uh, NVIDIA A8, A, uh, A100 uh, Tensor Core GPU. If you go to P3, which like the best which I I found so far, and we will like we will do the test, uh, of course. Here it's like a Tesla uh, V100 uh, GPU to do the installation. I'm not going to use this. I will use a small server and um then when it's when when it's over i will just uh, do um uh, image for this then i will land this this image with uh b316 xl because i will save at least like 30 minutes which means that i will save 20, 12 dollars i can use these like 30 minutes by mining ethereum so let's start it 
Uh, in order to start, we need to go to the dashboard. Just go to the launch uh, instance. First of all, before going this, I will go to the security group. In the security group, I created one which called PTC. Uh, I was trying to do mining for PTC. And here what we need, you need a custom UDP uh, for time three. It will be custom UDP and custom TCP with this port for uh, 3333. And the same for custom UDP uh, and custom TCP, you have to add 4444. And of course, you need SSH to your uh, IP addresses. Now, go back to the ECD, uh, EC2 dashboard, click launch instance. Okay, here we need an Ubuntu. Ubuntu search. I will use uh, 18. Why, why I'm not using 20? I found some small issue with the 20. And uh, honestly, I couldn't fix it. It's about like, like uh, how to say it? It's all about the, 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 the compatibility of one library. So I said, okay, I'm not going to, to spend more time on this one. I will go with the 18. 18 is also good. Here I will go with the smallest server. This one is fine. Uh, configure, add the storage. I just need a 20 GB storage. Add tags. I don't need the tags. Security group, I just need the security group which I created. This one. Review and launch. Yeah, that's all. All right. Launch instance. Now it will take like two, three seconds to be launched. Go view the instance. Okay, so now this is ending. We need to wait for like two, three minutes. Uh, less than this, but anyway. I will grab the public IP address here in the mining. These are the steps by steps what that we need. The most important that we have to see this. Uh, how many GPU and what is the power for each GPU that will help a lot. So and here now um, follow these comments to uninstall all the packages to run the Ether miner software. We grab the IP address, go to the party session, and the previous video I told you how you can convert the, the key. I will just change the IP address right now. Uh, open. It should, be, yeah, it should be working. So now, what I will do, I will just show you, like, I will come here, and I will do this. I think it's the best way. I will just copy paste. Okay. Okay, I will come here. I will just copy paste because it's really just copy paste. Okay, I will come here. Go to sudo. First of all, apt get update because you need to do this manually. Okay, now it's done. So what I will go, I'm going to do, I will do init zero. I will shut down the server. Close it, I don't need it. 
I don't need this one. Go back to uh, console. This is the console. Refresh. I had the server. It's stopping. Click here. Go to the actions. Image and template. Okay, you have to wait. So now it's stopped. State. Uh, sorry, actions. Image. Create an image. Let's name it YouTube uh, AMI Ether. So it will be YouTube Ethereum Mining. Okay, so that's all what I need to do. Create an image. It will take uh, between 5 to 10 minutes. You will go here to AMIs and you will see it. It's still pending. All right, so now I'm going to launch this image. I will go to this one. Add the storage, add the tag, security group. I just need the security group, BTC, which contains the port. I opened, launch, yes, launch instance. Wait for a second. All right. Now what else? Okay, we need to grab IP address. So I will wait for two seconds, uh, two two minutes till the server is up. Then I will. Uh... All right. So now it's uh, initializing. It will take like couple of seconds to be uh, like do the checks. I will just grab this IP address. I will come to uh, this one. I will just put the IP address. Save open okay now do sudo su cd uh, ethereum ether miner pen then uh, what was the ip the comment grab ether miner it will show me this one i can run it in the no hub let's do it no hub Tail hyphen f no hub dot com uh, that uh, output. Let's see what's going on now. Here, here we have only one uh, one GPU. Okay, now it's working fine. Oh no, it's not working fine. There are some some invalid device sample on uh, could a device, so it will crash. I think. Let's see. Okay, now if you check this, now it's working. If you check this, like each GPU is like 90 uh, megahertz hash power. Okay, so if you come to this uh, server, uh, to this website, it will take couple of seconds just to, to do, uh, to come from offline to online. Okay, it's still, uh, okay, there is nothing online still. It's the last update. Okay, now it's the new update is two minutes. Wait for a while, it will give you what is the average hash rate. Uh, I said that we can do one thing, which is like uh, mining uh, Zcash using the CPU, because here you have a CPU. Okay, so why we don't, uh, let's start four minutes. Why we don't use a CPU also? If we go to the history, it's just like very simple um, thing. You just need to download this one. I will add the comment. Okay, this one. We, we, we need to, to run this, uh, okay. I don't need that. Come on, this one. So, uh, I will do this. Um, I, will, I will show you, like, I will write here in this uh, article how to install the Zcash miner over the CPU. Why over the CPU? Of course, GPU is much better, but because you are using GPU for Ethereum, so it's good to use the CPU, which is like available to, uh, you are not using the CPU right now. So, okay, you can use it to mine something which is like uh, Zcash. For the Zcash, I will, I, as I said, I'm going to show you how you will uh, use it. Like, um, uh, I will add it, add it here. Now, this is the slash pool that come here, the workers which I'm using for the Zcash over the CPU. Just create an account, create a worker, and use um, this command line. Put the, like for example, this is the, the, the European uh, server and the username and, a, username and the worker. That's all what you need. And it will work 
wait for uh, three to four minutes and it will show you that the worker is um, online and uh, you start doing some mining. So just like, because here it sends five minutes. Come back here and I hope like the latest update is fine. Okay, since six minutes. So we have to still wait, but anyway, it will be the hash rate like almost 90 to 95 uh, mega hash. Okay, see, this is how we yesterday when I was doing some testing. This is the GUI that it will show you what is the hashing that you have. Um, one more thing, uh, be careful that you have to, 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 to check that, that the shares are always valid. It's not something called invalid. And you have to make sure that the server is always running. The service, um, this uh, ether miner is, is running fine. So it will show you that uh, it will not like cost you without mine start the mining. Uh, for the Zcash, it will it's just it will not be like very profit it will not profitable at all. But it's like since you have the CPU which is not in use, so you can use it to 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 do the mining of uh, Zcash over the CPU and it will be fine. Maybe you will find another um, currency you can do it. So in general. Um, what we did, we we just followed this article the, which I created, copy paste all the comments, um, choose the one which like based on your investment that you need, and okay, uh, so far it will not be profitable for the Ethereum 100%. But if the Ethereum price become three thousand dollar, then it will be it will start to be profitable. Exactly, it will. It, it must be three three thousand five hundred dollars. Sorry, $3,250, then it will start to be profitable for you. This is all. I hope the video, you like it. Please comment if it's fine. Uh, it's like, it's about technical things. Just wait for a while to for the Ethereum price to be higher. That's all. Thank you so much. I hope you like the, the video. You will subscribe to the channel, share it with your friend, and go and visit our website, hayatek.net, English version. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.